Thank you. Thank you for that introduction. Um, welcome everyone to the Dream.US family. I am super excited to be here and welcome you, welcoming all of you today. Uh, five years ago, I was in your shoes and I was at a welcoming event actually for um, Miami-Dade College and FIU scholars. And I just remember being so nervous with my family and super excited to like, you know, start this journey. Um, so I wanted to really quickly talk about my journey with the Dream.US. It has supported me in so many ways that I never thought anyone would. Um, you know, all the staff, Donald Graham, Gabi Pacheco, Sadana, Tanya, Candy, they've all been there. And I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for believing in us. And yeah, thank you for changing my life. And I can't wait to see the same, you know, life-changing situation with all of you today. Um, as you start out your undergrad careers and everything. Um, like many of you, my high school senior year was super mentally exhausting. Um, I never thought I would be able to even pursue an undergrad degree just because of my status. I had the grades, I had the you know clubs like many of you. Um, but in, in terms of that, like people don't really care when it comes to you know giving you financial aid. Like if you don't have the papers, you're not it, right? However, the Dream.US was there to pick up my stress and give me the peace I needed. And because of that, I was able to start my undergrad um, at FIU in computer science. And I am proud to say that I have graduated last year and I landed my dream job at Microsoft, um, working on Microsoft Teams in their newest product. Uh, the scholarship believed in my potential and it also believes in your potential. Because of that, I want you to realize your potential today and every day throughout your undergrad degree. I want you to look back to this day and realize how much you are worth it. Because of that, I want you to think about why all these donors are even donating in the first place. They see all the potential that you have and that's why they're backing you up. You're about to embark on a journey that most people our age embark on. However, the difference is that we are very resilient. We are resilient enough to stand out in a crowd because of all the adversity we have faced, yet we're still here today fighting and about to, you know, do amazing things in America. Resiliency will just make you stand out more in life. Not only are you capable of reaching for the stars, but you're also going to be able to one day look at it, look back and see all of the amazing things that you were able to do. I ask that you don't st settle for less in the next couple of years. When you're in class, don't disappear into the crowd. You need to stand out positively in every aspect of your life, including grades, including leadership positions, giving back to your community and everything in between. You need to show what we bring to American society. Strive for the best, strive to be the best, and strive to have an amazing community surrounding you that also has those same goals. Just basically bring your potential to its maximum because I know you can and I know you will. America needs you. They need your light in the middle of the darkness. We bring so much to this country. We bring our culture, we bring our joy, our diversity, and I just want you to show everyone that you're meant to be here. And I can't wait to see all the contributions that you will do to our society as well. I mean, at the end of the day, we're doing this not only for ourselves, but also for our family. We need to prove ourselves and I just want you to believe in yourself the whole time. The Dream About US scholarship has changed my life and provided me with the financial freedom to focus on my education. The scholarship is tailored to, you know, all different types of uh, amazing people that are going to come out, such as nurses, teachers, engineers, social workers, among many others. And you all have a rightful seat as well at the table alongside all the other Americans that are here. After four years of my undergrad journey and one year into my master's, I'm happy to be with, with you all today and give you some advice on my undergrad journey. So during this whole amazing time, working and going to school was a little overwhelming. And depending on your major, you may have difficulty in your classes with your grades. However, don't give up because, you know, everyone goes through that at the end of the day. And just remember that the Dream.US is here to back you up um, in terms of, 
your finances, which a lot of people, even Americans don't have that, um, you know, opportunity to begin with. Um, also think of your parents and yourself and remember how things will change after your undergrad. Um, you know, once you have that degree, you can either work at your favorite, you know, dream company, or you can even start your own business. Um, you know, having DACA or not having DACA, that shouldn't stop you from reaching for the stars. I know many people who have been able to start their own startups and all of these things that you will one day be able to do as well. So basically, don't give up ever. <laughs> Keep going until you finish and um, you'll be really happy. When you feel overwhelmed, think about all the, the you know, things that your parents have been through, that your family has been through in order for you to be here today. And that should be able to push you even forward. So I wanted to leave you with four points that really helped me achieve academic and career success. Um, to begin with, if you have DACA, definitely apply for internships. Um, even in the beginning of your undergrad, there are many programs that are for freshmen and sophomores. So just try looking them up uh, as much as possible. If you don't have DACA, there are multiple ways for you to still stand out in terms of um, career success. For example, in computer science, you can just pick up as many projects as possible. You can volunteer. Volunteering at the end of the day, once you put that in your resume, it still counts as experience and may be able to put your uh, foot in the door once you do have, um, you know, uh, social security. So definitely don't let that hinder you. You can always start in the beginning, create as many projects as you can, do volunteering experience, and that should be very beneficial for you. Number two, definitely befriend older students and start networking on LinkedIn. Um, that is a lot of helpful, you know, um, material that you can learn from them. Uh, they can let you know about classes to avoid, teachers to avoid, and um, yeah, just definitely learning from them, learning um, how they went about um, into getting into a specific company or a specific job role, et cetera. There are many benefits of networking on LinkedIn, on Facebook, and of course on, um, on campus as well. Uh, when I started, I befriended so many uh, people and it really helped me and guide what I really wanted to do um, throughout my undergrad. Uh, third, seek out the support of your fellow Dream Scholars, counselor, counselors and liaisons. Um, like Tanya said, we have the Facebook group. You can ask questions. There are a lot of alumni there like myself and we're willing to, you know, give you some advice. Of course, your um, on-campus uh, advisor can also help. And yeah, definitely take that all in and take the advice and you will, you will be amazing. And last but not least, um, always refer to the scholarship program guide. There are a lot of questions that pop up all the time, like, oh, like, when do I need to um, renew my scholarship, etc. Most of the answers are on the uh, program guide. So definitely um, keep that as if it's your undergrad Bible. Um, it'll really help you. And if you don't see the answers there, please connect with your scholar advisor or also ask on the Facebook page and we will try to help you out. So yeah, I am super excited and I hope that you also remember to take care of yourself throughout undergrad. Um, your mental health at the end of the day goes first. Um, you wanna be sane through it all. <laughs> and yeah, I'll end with congratulating you all for starting this next chapter on your education journey with your new The Dream.us family. You are the captains of your ship and continue to sail towards greatness. There is victory and success for all of us on the horizon. I am super excited for you, and we can't wait to hear about all the amazing things that you will do at the end of your undergraduate career.